so on the project on jaggery making uh, we thought that uh, better quality jaggery would be a good thing to uh, good for the consumers okay we would like jaggery to be organically produced and in a affordable manner uh, when we and personally uh, at home i prefer uh, organic jaggery and uh, this so i thought that uh, uh, let us see if we can apply our understanding of energy conservation and all in the jaggery making process mm -hmm. for uh, this and then when we uh, looked at it uh, what happened was we uh, saw that uh, jaggery making process is quite a as, uh, this hardship prone uh, involves a lot of hardship uh, in terms of uh, the heat stress to the workers who are uh, working in front of the furnace and so on and so forth. Uh, so we thought that how can we reduce the drudgery in that uh, uh, this. Uh, so using our heat pump concept, uh, we thought that we, we can use the uh, vapors which are generated out of the jaggery uh, uh, cane juice uh, boiling process and use it and recompress it okay so recompress it and then uh, uh, use it to boil the uh, further uh, juice now in this process uh, uh, in order to improve the efficiency we are now using our patented uh, long stroke reciprocating mechanism based compressor so it's a near isothermal compressor which is which makes it very efficient and also uh, it will uh, uh, reduce the energy consumed to boil the juice and concentrate it that is one thing and on the other side uh, the burning of bagasse will be avoided entirely okay so the bagasse which is saved can then be sent to farms for composting which we, we were uh, to understand that uh, the organic jaggery produced using compost by recycling the bagasse onto the same field can easily double the output uh, or uh, pro uh, production from that particular field. So normally if 30 to 60 tons of jaggery is produced per acre, here you can easily produce more than 100 tons per acre of uh, production. So that will give more revenue to the farmers. Okay. And then on the other hand, the drudgery involved in sitting in and firing the bagasse in front of this will also be reduced significantly. Overall efficiency of the jaggery making process is getting improved one because of the efficient compressor, a novel near isothermal compressor that we are planning. Uh, you, uh, and what we are doing is we are bringing in a, a non lubricated compressor. So, uh, by doing so, what happens is that the vapor which gets recompressed and uh, then condensed, it gives us distilled water in some sense. So, all the water which we are vaporizing from the uh, uh, juice now is available to the farmer again as distilled water. And you know what are the applications of distilled water and how costly it is and with all the batteries and all those things also you need it as well as it can be made portable by adding a pinch of salt and some nutrients. So, you get good quality water uh, also as a byproduct. Uh, additionally, we are making this unit as a mobile jaggery making unit. So, instead of cutting the uh, cane and bringing it to the jaggery making uh, unit, uh, this unit is compact enough to be placed on the tractor trailer, which can go along with the tractor to the site, uh, to wherever the jaggery, where the cane is ready for harvesting. And they can cut it, crush it right there on the trailer. The juice will be fed into this and it will be converted to jaggery on the field, right next to the cane <laughs> growing area, okay, right in the field. And then next day it can move to the, uh, you know, the next spot in the same field and uh, cover the whole field in maybe a day or two. It, it would ultimately we are, it's a modular system. Right now we have made a, uh, a unit uh, for vapor recompression of half kg per day. Uh, half kg per hour capacity and we expect this can be operated for up to 20 hours maybe in two shifts or something like that because there is hardly any drudgery here. Uh, it can be automated also. Uh, so, people will be required only to crush the juice and uh, then process it. Uh, as I said, the lab unit uh, which we have made is for half kg per hour but the field unit which we plan uh, uh, will be for 10 ton of crushing per day. Traditionally, 10 ton is a very standard size. 
uh, of course, our units can be built of smaller capacity also if required, maybe 5 ton or even uh, 2 and a half, 3 ton or even 1 ton per day. So, that is totally flexible. Uh, this 10 ton per day uh, crushing is going to produce something like uh, around 1.5 uh, ton of uh, jaggery per day. Okay. So, it is modular. So, there is no problem about scaling up of that. We will be primarily using electricity here. But uh, our plan ultimately is because PV is becoming so cheap now, uh, our plan is to uh, yeah, run the DC motors on the compressor with PV. Okay. So, as the PV power, uh, as the sun sunlight uh, this, so we can run it during the day, we can run it on solar mm -hmm. and during the night we can uh, or evening or night, we can use it from the stored electricity from solar or we can take it from the grid, whatever, whatever is convenient. We would like to empower individual farmers okay uh, to be capable of processing their own produce okay uh, and while we are saying that this unit is meant for jaggery making basically what it is is it's a vapor recompression system which is capable of concentrating milk capable of concentrating other juices capable of concentrating uh, other ayurvedic medicines and so on and so forth also so, during the season, this could be used for jaggery making. During the other periods, it could be used for some other application also. Okay. Like milk is always a possibility of concentrating. So, instead of boiling milk uh, and uh, using uh, biogas or uh, LPG or uh, any other means, okay, if we can do it with this, it will consume almost uh, 4 to 5 times less uh, energy and also will cost that much less to uh, produce that uh, condensed milk or uh, this could be applied for other applications also. Mm -hmm. So, with that uh, this I think they could uh, use it for individual farmers could uh, benefit also by keeping small units. In that case, the unit could be just one ton per day okay. crushing, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, and they could crush the, the uh, uh, this uh, from their field over a couple of months period or something like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, that is possible or two, three farmers can come together and they can own one unit and then you know circulate it among their fields and things like that or it can be scaled up to a community uh, level also. So, as I said, uh, we believe that even a half kg per day, a uh, half kg per hour unit which could be sitting on a bench uh, <laughs> on uh, just this uh, part of the table also. Okay. So, it can be as small as that just for the recompression part, okay. And uh, a 10 ton per day uh, unit I anticipate will probably be, uh, uh, you know, about, uh, it can be accommodated on half a trawler uh, size uh, this, you know? uh, and then this could be powered with uh, available electric uh, source. And then if required, uh, PV panel can be deployed on the uh, tractor trailer as a sh shed for this with uh, flappable, uh, openable flaps, which can uh, add to the area. So, something like that is also possible. Our machine is essentially going to concentrate it to 90 bricks from about 18, 19 bricks or 20 bricks. It is going to concentrate it to 90 bricks and that at 90 bricks at around 100 degrees centigrade, the juice will flow out of our machine. And then what flows out can be directly caught in your uh, molds and casts and uh, then you just keep it for cooling. Right now, we have uh, a lab uh, uh, unit which is being uh, uh, tested, okay. So, we have so far, we have succeeded in concentrating juice from around 20 bricks to 43 bricks and the results look pretty uh, promising. We have a paper being presented on uh, uh, energy efficient jaggery making process using uh, long stroke compressor in uh, conference in UK. See, there are many advantages in this particular process because uh, the exposure to oxygen is reduced significantly. Mm. So, which would reduce the oxidation of the sugars and all, mm. okay. Uh, then uh, caramelization is also going to get reduced because there are no hot spots here because the maximum temperature at which we are going to supply steam is not going to be more than around 100, 105 degrees or so, okay. So, typically the juice boiling temperature is going to be around 100 because when we compress and uh, supply the steam, the steam supplied is only at 1 bar. So, there are no pressure issues and other things also. So, we draw it out from uh, the boiling uh, uh, section of the heat exchanger and then supply it on the shell side. So, in this process, the maximum temperatures are not uh, going above 100 degrees 
and because of that we don't expect any caramelization and all those things because of hot spots as is quite common in this i think we expect uh, the quality of the jaggery to be much better and even the color to be much better even without adding any uh, chemicals and thing like that so our target is to uh, enable farmers to grow uh, sugarcane organically and then process the organically grain uh, grown uh, sugarcane juice okay uh, in a uh, fashion so that uh, chemicals can be avoided uh, means uh, uh, this harmful chemicals can be avoided entirely